My name is Barry Sport Simmons. I'm not afraid to say I'm 70 years old and I'm from Kingston Four, Jamaica, West Indies. I came out of a political struggle from Jamaica at that time. A lot of people had to find some way out of Jamaica and New York City was the place to be. I've become a New Yorker. I'm a citizen here now. Been driving a cab 44 to 45 years. Driving a cab in New York City was uh, one of the most, one of the greatest experiences I've had. You get to learn New York City from corner to corner. The taxi industry helped me to be an independent individual and uh, a way to support my family. New York City is hustle, bustle, and you gotta keep moving. Uh, and like I said, to survive in New York City, you have to keep moving. The Empire State Building is a major, major economic structure of the city. For cab drivers especially, that's where we make our money. When everything else is slow, the Empire State Building is moving. Basically a place where all cultures meet at some time. Plus you're in the center of New York. You're around everything. For you to go in front of the Empire State Building and take a picture and send it back home to your friends and your family, it makes them want to come here to have the same cultural experience that you have. You could not get a taxi license without answering the question on your license, where is the Empire State Building, the location and how to get there. That was one of the major questions on a taxi driver's test. The Empire State Building play a major role in driving a cab in New York City. I will not stop driving a cab in New York City because it's such an interesting thing to do. I don't just do it for making the money, but I do it to learn, and I've learned a lot. I mean, I see that building from my house, and like once I see this building, like I know I'm in New York. It's just that building to me is like New York. I think it's so well as New York. I guess just the building itself is just um, makes me think of moving to New York City and like following my dream and like making it happen and and starting from the bottom and like really hustling to make it happen and and uh, just that New York dream that a lot of people come here for. I'm John DeLeo. I've been a firefighter in the FDNY for 22 years, and we're in South Jamaica, Queens, in my firehouse. The job of being a fireman was something that I was attracted to from a young age. I grew up across the street from a firehouse. It's been one of those things that I've wanted to do since I was a young, young man. Every day, it's, it's always uh, an adventure. It's always something new. You never know what you're gonna be coming across when you go out these doors here at this firehouse. The FDNY is the greatest fire department in the world. To me, New York City is the center of the world. And uh, when you look at the New York skyline, uh, the Empire State Building, in particular, to me, defines that skyline. And it's been a symbol of strength. The reason why I feel that this, the Empire State Building stands out, uh, my first thought is just my experience with the Empire State Building as, as a tourist in my own city. Uh, I have relatives that come over from, from Italy, from Australia. I have friends that come from around the world. And when you take someone from out of town or out of the country to that 86th floor observation deck, it's, uh, it's, it's tremendous. You're able to uh, get a panoramic view of the entire city from uh, the perspective of being right in the middle of the pad. And uh, I see the excitement my friends and relatives get from that. In my opinion, the reason why the Empire State Building remains an icon in New York City is that no matter where you are in the world, if you show someone a picture of the skyline, they'll be able to pick out the Empire State Building over any other building that's in that skyline. Recently, back in February, I was able to take part in the Empire State Building run-up, where rather than taking the elevators, we had a race with the FDNY against the NYPD 
where we raced up the, uh, the stairs to the ACS school. It was one of those memorable nights. If you grew up in New York, whether it's first thing in the morning or even more so at night after dark, the Empire State Building has, as I said before, it, it's been a beacon for New York City and for the world. Whatever event's going on, the Empire State Building is able to show that with its display of lights. So whether it's for a celebration or a memorial, every night that you look up at the Empire State Building, you could see that something's being celebrated. When I see it in the skyline or I see it on TV, it just reminds me of home. I, I do a lot of traveling and uh, anytime that I see the Empire State Building, it just uh, makes me feel like everything's okay and that um, New Yorkers were uh, resilient as a bunch, and um, the Empire State Building is and will, will always be a symbol of strength to me. It means almost everything. It means uh, the, the seal of New York is Empire State. So. The building represents the state as well. It's very iconic, it's historical, it's entertaining. It's just a, a refreshing experience every time. But for me, it's quite a, it's a bit of a symbol from New York as it uh, represents the, the force, business-wise also. Um, it's also, as it is central in New York, it's sort of giving always a direction uh, where you are situated. People are very excited about it when they hear. I work in a hotel right down the block that we're around the corner from the Empire State Building. Um, people come here to get married. So it, it's just really huge and it's New York. I mean, Empire State Building is New York. I am Isaac Brooks. I am a teacher of English and history at uh, Horace Mann Middle School in the Bronx. I'm an avid amateur historian and a lover of cities. I'm fascinated by buildings and the stories that they can tell. If you were to say, what is a skyscraper? People would probably draw something like the Empire State Building because in their mind it's so um, iconic, meaning it's unique. It defines what a skyscraper is. My mom came from Israel and settled in the mid-1950s. I was raised outside of New York City. And my heritage, which is half Israeli, is something that I'm aware of, but I didn't really feel that I was part of the city until the LEDs that lit the exterior of the Empire State Building celebrated Israel Day by bathing the tower in the colors of the Israeli flag. For me, it was a validation of me as a New Yorker of Israeli heritage. And that's something that made me feel like I truly belong, that I've kind of made it in New York City. And I'm one of the many, many New Yorkers that make up this great city. The Empire State Building continually, like a chameleon, keeps changing what it means. And that's not so much the building itself as the fact that the complexion, the variety, the diversity of the city of New York keeps changing. It's like a mirror as opposed to a painting because a mirror reflects what it sees as opposed to a painting which shows you what the vision of the artist was. In a weird way, some architects look upon buildings as a, uh, a statement of their vision of what New York is about. When I look at the Empire State Building, I don't see an individual. I think that the idea of community is basically validated in the creation of this place. It is the center of New York City. I don't think the New York skyline would be you know, anywhere as near uh, impactful as it would be today if, if not for the Empire State Building. As somebody that's move to New York, not a native New Yorker. I suppose you could say that it's kind of a sign of the very impressive thing that we've built around us and it's always fun to kind of go up and look and appreciate the fact that as astounding as impressive it is all, as it all is, like each and every one of us are part of the society that built it. I think it's the most famous building New York has. 
and uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a symbol of, of New York. But it's one of the things that people will definitely want to see when they come to New York City. I came uh, from the country Georgia and I moved to the state Georgia. For the longest while I just saw it, like depictions of New York with the Empire State Building as a centerpiece. You know. It defines kind of the city for me and it's just amazing to think that I live here now, uh, where I can see it every day. Every time when I see it, the thought just comes across that you know, I'm so lucky and uh, I'm so happy to be here. New York City has definitely influenced my shooting style. I love the energy that New York City has. I am Natalie Amrossi, also known as Miss Hatton, and I am a New York City-based photographer. I grew up in Queens, New York, and um, me and my friends, we'd always kind of mess around and take photos, so like, it was always a part of me. I just never thought that I could make it a career. I went to Stony Brook University and I studied finance and business management. Right out of college, I was trying to find a job and I landed a, a gig at JP Morgan. I was working there for three years. One of the perks of working there is that their building was incredible for getting these amazing views of the city. I would come into work every day with my camera and take pictures before work, after work, and you know, even during my lunch breaks. Every day I would stare at the Empire State Building from my cubicle. It just like really inspired me, especially at nighttime when all the different lights would pop up. I'd stay at work late just to watch these night shows with, with the Empire State Building. I think that there's so many ways that you can shoot the Empire State Building. Mainly because it's like the heart of New York City. It's the biggest, most beautiful building in Midtown and it's hard to kind of overlook it. Whether you're on the ground like shooting street shots, looking up at the building, or if you're on a rooftop or even in a helicopter, you know, there's always a different perspective that you can get of the Empire State Building. I've been fortunate enough to be able to explore that um, as a freelance photographer. The building is always unique. It's either going to be a different color, the sky is going to look different, the sunset is different, but no matter what, like there's always something unique about the building. I think it's the most creative building, whether there's, you know, tigers being projected onto the building or different colors and dancing lights, like there's no other building that is like that. And I feel like the Empire State Building is forever evolving with the world and changing, so it's always staying relevant and it's always staying special. <laughs>